me see. Okay, let me open it again. This is where you find the list of all your uh, extensions that you attached to your Kiwi browser. So I'm having few extensions. So I have MetaMax here. So I don't need to put in my password again since I've done that. I actually imported my password wallet. Uh, imported my wallet here using my password from trust wallet you can create new one either either of the two anyone you like so uh, let me go back here i am on polygon network if you can as you can see but i don't want that i want um echo chain network that is wobi but i don't have wobi uh, echo chain so how do i do that let me open another tab and i'm going to choose chain list chain list is just like a database a large database where we store all our network settings instead of you to be typing the network settings manually in such a way that you might mistakenly press um a wrong number or a wrong id and you won't get what you need or it won't take you down to your net desired network and also there are also scam network ids now that you can use to steal your font so that's why you, I use chainlist.org. It takes you directly to what you need. It's certified, verified, and it has a lot, a lot. I can't count the number, but a lot of chains. You see, over 120 tokens and multi-chain assets. So, over. That's it. Now, what you need to do now, after visiting this site, you click on Connect Wallet. All right. It takes you down there. Well, sometimes it won't show you this is it you need to be familiar with this environment if it didn't show you maybe you press it and it's just hanging especially when you're on web theory uh, website when you click anything and it didn't respond don't click it again because if you click it again you will see that you have clicked many uh, times and you will see the outcome here so if you click and you didn't get any response just come here go to your metamask and refresh so if you refresh for second time is because i've already added it uh, before this moment that's why it connected directly to my wallet i can see my wallet address in a short form but assuming i'm starting afresh it's going to hang no response whereas you will know it's already waiting for you so when you refresh you just see that approve or sign in you not click on sign in then you come back here and you see that your wallet address is connected so that's how it works so now I want to add echo chain so I can type Wobi. I can type echo I think you should be able to find echo too that's it echo Wobi. so this is the test net so don't mix it up this is the main net okay so I'm, all, I'm going to click on add so it's supposed to pop it out and show me but I told you when you click and you didn't get any response come back to your metamask so I'm going to refresh all right can you see it had already sent this to me because you're not using the app that's why you have to refresh and refresh and refresh so i'm approving this i want to add this network settings OB. that's echo chain minute that's it that's how it works so approve okay do you want to switch to it yes i want to switch from binance down to echo so it's now on my list now can you see i have ethereum i have clayton Wag Memo, River, Avalanche, Polygon, Cello, Binance, Pangolin, and so on. So, but the one I'm currently on is Hobi. And that's what I need to do, what I want to do. I want to claim an airdrop particularly. So, I'm done with chain list. So, I'm wiping it off. It's just a database that stores all the network configuration. So, you can use it to import any settings and you will stay on that network settings. Now, I'm connecting my wallet now. All right, you see, it's bringing the name now. Before it wasn't there. Now it's bringing my address. I mean, my address. So I want to claim 300 um, token of this. So uh, number point 300. That's it. Draw. Okay, you see, remember what I told you? Okay. It looks as if nothing happened. You have to come and check here, else you miss it out. You see, 
It's already waiting for me. So many don't know this. It will stay on queue. That's queue. When you see that queue, click on it. Okay, it's waiting for your confirmation. Else you just be waiting there, I do. And say so you click it, no response. Even if it didn't show it this way, you just refresh. You will see. All right, I believe it will be done now in a few seconds. I'll get a notification that it's done. So it's on pending. If you think it's too slow, you can speed it up. But it's done.